Precious. I'm a senior in God's Light Youth Choir. On behalf of the choir, thank you so much for joining us on this Easter morning 2020. Dear God, thank you so much for letting us all come together through this virtual service. Though we cannot be together in person, we will still come together to worship you the day you rose from the dead. Please keep us all safe through this difficult time and give us all the strength we need. Please remind us that this too shall pass. Please help and heal all of those who are ill and keep those at the front line safe. Thank you, Lord, for all you do for us and for rising again for each and every one of us. In your name we pray. Amen. Good morning and happy Easter. My name is Emily Wyke and this morning me and my friend the Easter Bunny have a children's message and we're going to read a poem for you all. Many years ago on a cross he died and a bunny watching bent his head and cried. Throughout the ages the story has spread. Jesus died and rose for us. He came back from the dead. Easter has always been my favorite holiday ever since I was a little girl but I didn't always understand why we were celebrating. Now I understand that the reason is because Jesus loved us so much, he sacrificed himself, and he defeated death for us, and he is alive again. That is the biggest reason to celebrate, not only today, but every day. If you guys would pray with me. Dear God, I thank you so much for Easter. I thank you for your gift and sacrifice of your son Jesus and his love for us. 
I pray that we remember that love not only today, but every day, and that we use that love to be able to give love to others. Amen. Happy Easter, everyone. Hi, I'm Madeline Henninger, and today I will be reading 1 Peter 1.3. Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In his great mercy, he has given us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. Good morning. Happy Easter. My name is Ashley Engel. I'm a homeschool student who attends Veritas Classical Schools and Christian Fine Arts of Forsyth and takes dual enrollment classes. Loving and serving God comes foremost in my life. My faith defines who I am. I love being a part of God's Light Youth Choir. And for the last couple years, I visited Canada three times and traveled across our great nation, singing and helping others and meeting grand people across our extraordinary country talking and sharing God's good news and his love has greatly impacted our choir. When I was born, my parents presented to me an extraordinarily special gift. It was a poetic Bible passage designed for my life. It was a precious gift that I would cherish forever. 1 Corinthians 13, 13. So faith, hope, and love abide but the greatest of these is love. Let's have a discussion about faith. I was smiling with love and gratitude while being baptized at three months old and confirmed in the church at the sixth grade. I have been a part of the distinguished music ministry since I was five years old as a sunshine singer. God's Light Youth Choir has been the highlight of my teenage years. I've experienced so much joy at Sunday's rehearsals, fellowshipping, singing, praying, and growing in my faith. We have been on some fabulous trips, glimpsing at our magnificent country and being a part of once in a lifetime experiences. It's not about the places we see, it's about the people we meet and bring to Christ. We are so grateful for the people on our trips. I have enjoyed seeing the old churches in Upper State, New York, exiting the boat in Nova Scotia, and meeting a large group of townspeople waiting to hear us sing, the Oklahoma Memorial, seeing the Grand Canyon, and arriving in Denver, Colorado to see family friends eager to see us perform, and little towns across America helping others all while serving and loving Jesus. One of my favorite trips was to Nova Scotia. We arrived on a ferry and met incredible townspeople who were anxious to hear us sing. Thank you, Kim Duggins, and all volunteers in God's light. I look forward to utilizing my future career, encouraging and helping others to see and love Jesus. Now, Let's converse about hope. As many of you remember, my late father battled a courageous battle with ALS, or Lou Gehrig's disease. God truly blessed me with amazing parents. Their marriage was grounded in their strong Christian faith. Dad loved hearing all the Smyrna First choir sing. Every Sunday, I would sit on his wheelchair lap and dad said he would be looking down from heaven, glimpsing at me singing with God's light. Before my father died, both of my parents prepared me for the future and life without him. When he died, my mom was left with unbelievable medical debt, but not once did she complain because God always has, is available to help guide you and give you hope. I know my father is looking down today, proud that I have hope for the future. I am committed to serving Christ and singing with God's light and being a part of this a truly amazing church. And finally, love. God is love. He loves us every day, even when we overlook praying before meals. He loves and leads the way in everything we do. 
The Bible is all about his love for us. And the songs we sing in God's light show his kindness, mercy, grace, compassion, and God's unconditional love for us. He bestowed his one and only son to save us all. And Jesus Christ died for our sins. God is truly wonderful and always amazes me. God's light has aided my walk with him and given me incredible memories, good friends, and helped me to grow and learn. 1 Corinthians 13, 13. So faith, hope, and love abide, but the greatest of these is love. This Bible verse has applied to so many things in my life, and I'm so grateful that I was blessed with this marvelous gift from my parents. And I want to thank Miss Kim for directing God's Light Youth Choir, the people who developed the music ministry, Pastor Derek and the staff for your love and assistance of our church. I also appreciate the congregation for your commitment and constantly cheering us on. Thank you. Happy Easter. Hey everybody and happy Easter. My name is Evan Phillipson and I'm a senior at Campbell High School. Or I guess I was one. Right now, I'm just chilling behind my house in my Eno, wishing I could be at church with all you guys right now. I briefly want to talk with you guys about hope for the future. Obviously, we're all stuck inside, missing work or school, but at least you're not missing your senior prom or your graduation or your final summer before you get shipped off to college. However, although this seems like a time that's super disappointing and sad, I've really found the common it. I've realized that our lives move so fast we can, hardly, uh, we can hardly get time to stop and think about things and not take things in our life for granted. For me, I've been able to further build my relationships with my family members and God. Like most people, I wondered why God would let such terrible things happen. But I've always remembered one of my favorite verses, Romans 12, 2. That says that God, uh, everything happens according to God's good, pleasing, and perfect will. I've actually come to realize through a little bit of extra scripture studying that God al allows plagues to happen in the first place as a sign that we need to slow down from our quick moving lives and daily routines and spend some more time on God. This idea is talked about in Revelation 16, 9, where the sole purpose of God sending plagues was for the people to repent and glorify him. This is further seen in Exodus as the only the people as only people able to survive the plagues and avoid them in Egypt were the people that listened and followed God, not to mention they also stayed inside their houses. I believe that something good comes out of every single event. Even the Easter story, nobody thought anything good would happen when Jesus died on the cross, but a mere three days later, he came back and beat death and rose from the grave. So during this Easter weekend, I encourage everyone to be optimistic in this time that we're stuck in our home and really celebrate what Easter is really about without all the elaborate Easter egg hunts and other traditions that we partake in. And not only slow down and connect with our families and our loved ones, but also connect with God. Talk to him and thank him for all that he's done for us, like sending his son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for us. Happy Easter, everyone. Hi, I'm Bella Stoicha. I'm a senior in high school, and I'm going to read the benediction. May the road rise to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face, the rains fall soft upon your fields, and until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand. Amen. Amen.